So now we are having a look at these equations that use regular expressions. The plus symbol is the same as the pipe symbol I use in other videos and then you just use the plus here because my source uses it and well it doesn't really matter so just stick with it for the moment. Um, these regular exp expressions denote sets of words they are accepting. And the first example, the A, just is the same as a set that contains the word A. And the plus, well, the or is something like the union on set, on sets. Then we just have another A. And if we form the union of the set, that means we are putting everything that's in either set together into a new set. And in the set, we it doesn't matter how often a symbol is is in it, or it's just it can just be in it one time, and the order also just doesn't matter. So this is the same as that one, and that this is just the same as this a. So that means this equation is true. Let's have a look at the second one. The a here is the E here is the epsilon, so the empty word. And we are forming a union with the A. And that means when we put both together, we get a new set where both the epsilon and the A are in it. And then the question is, is this the same as a set that contains the word A? And as you can now see, when, they are, when I write them down like this, they are not the same, so this expression is not true. Let's have a look at the third one. The A star means we have a the regular expression denotes an infinite set of words that contains empty string, the A, the word that consists of two A's and of three A's and so on and so on. So of A. All words that are made up of any number of A's are denoted by A star. And now we form the union with a set where just the A is in. And as you can see here, the A is in this set and in that set. And just similar to that one, if I put something into a set which is already there, it doesn't change a thing. So when I form the union of those both sets, it just stays the same as A star, and that's just um, the same as what I have here on the right side of the um, equation. So this equation is also true. Then we have this one. And uh, so we maybe you know some expressions like this one I had in other videos, or without the star first. And this one means we can pick either one, either A or B. So this is the one as the same as A or B. And if we have the same with a star, that means I can, I well, if I want, I can pick one of these, and then I can choose again and concatenate them with each other. So this one contains. Well, it contains epsilon, and I can just decide to only pick an A, or to only pick a B, or I can pick as often as I want, so I can do something like A, 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 B, A, or anything that I want that's made up of A's and B's, in any, any order and in any number. So, and when we have something like this, we have... Um, we, have, we can choose between several strings that we can concatenate with each other. So this means um, this first expression means we have a set where the A is in it, if I only choose one. Or let's, let's start with epsilon. So because of the star, I can decide to not pick anything. Then uh, I can choose only an A, or I can choose B, C, or I can choose... A, B, C, or I can choose between them and concatenate them with each other if I want. And now the question is, is this the same as 
is that the same set of words I can create when having the thing on the right side, so without the third string. Maybe, maybe do I really need the third string thing? And well, let's see. If I if I have those a from the left side of the from those left set, I can just create it with that a. And if I have B, C, I can just pick that one and I'm fine. And if I have something, if I have A, B, C, I can just decide to pick an A and concatenate with them with a B, C and I'm just fine. So, and when I can, when I can use those, both of them to create A, B, C, which is just the same as here, then I don't need this ABC because in any situation where I would choose the ABC I can just decide to just pick A and BC instead. So I lose nothing by just dropping those ABC string. So this equation is true. Now let's have a look at the last equation. I make a set of the of something I can create with the left hand side. So I can, in that left set there would be an epsilon, or there would be the A, or there would be CB, or there would be ABC, or any concatenation of all these. And now the question is again, if I have only the thing on the right side, can I build up the same set of words as I can with the left side? And again we can say, well, I can use those A to create that A, or well, I'm not really sure which color I didn't use yet. So I can decide to, um, I can pick those CB to create those CB string. And now how can I create those ABC string, which I can make with the, with the first set by just picking that one? And well, I can, I have an A and the only option to get that A is by using this part. And then I'm left with the BC. And how can I get the BC? Well, I have no string in those set that B starts with a B. So I don't really have an option to create those BC. So that means I found one word that's in the left set, but not in the right set. That's ABC. And that means the equations do not hold because those two sets are not equal in what they can express. So, and I hope this gave you a better understanding of how regular expressions work.